Hi, this is the second in my very brief tips and tricks videos. I'm just doing very, very short videos showing uh, ways to ease ease your route through the uh, image generation. This is this one is about um, finding the right seed. So a lot of um, AI generation is finding the a, a good seed to go forwards with. So a good idea is to do quite a large batch or several large batches of images at quite a low resolution for the first pass. So here I've started with this quite blurry image, which so I'm doing quite a high denoise. So it's going to change a lot, that means. And we have a couple of Lauras all, all fighting with each other and, uh, and, and a bit of a, a, a post-apocalyptic prompt. So what I do is to make the image size quite small. So this is 768512. You don't want to go much smaller than that, really. And we do a batch of eight, as you see here, with the repeat later batch goes up to eight. Uh, if you are doing text to image and you have a empty latent image then you don't need any of this but you need to make sure your image size is not too large obviously and then I can look at the resultant images now there's no need to do them at lots of steps in fact it's slightly better to do them at lower steps so I'm only using six six steps with the turbo and that results in these images which is more than enough to tell you you know which ones might be rather nice so I quite like that one and I quite like that one. So the thing is uh, to be able to pick which of them you want to send on for fame and fortune. So we'll just turn that to never. So to do that, we use an image from batch node. And the only confusing thing is uh, the length means how many images you want to send on. So you can send on more images if you want, but but it, it, you can't take them out of order, I'm afraid. So the numbering is a little funny. It's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if you go to 7, there we have number 7, 6 and 5. So that's very easy. The only, the only difficult thing is to if you try and go above the number you have you'll get a, a big red box full of red letters <laughs> telling you telling you you got it wrong so you can just swap them clicking through so I find it best to do it with a fixed seed and then it'll do a selection based on that you can do it you can do it with a random seed uh, but remember it will regenerate every time uh, so it, it, it doesn't actually work as well if you're using a random seed you need to save the images off and reload them but which is more trouble so I, I have a fixed seed and it gives me eight quite random images you see that there's a quite a big variety in there and that allows me to flick through them I mean you, you, you with a random with a random one it's it's no problem you, but you can't look at the image in this box that's the only only difference so if it was random I could provide I knew the numbering I, I could pick any one and it would be fine and I think that's about it so uh, uh, essentially I then send it on to a refine which can be uh, an increase in size I'm doubling the size there but you could do one and a half maybe uh, which results in this image which I would then go on and refine further and I think that covers it thank you very much